This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. A community organization is getting ready for its biggest event of the year. Samantha Croy has more on how you can make a difference in children's lives. Good morning, Samantha. Thanks, LA, and good morning, Heartland. I'm at the Quilted Square in Kirksville with Connie Duvier, who is the chapter coordinator for Make a Blanket Day that's happening tomorrow for Project Linus. And it's just a great way to kind of Give a hug to a child in need. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, our chapter makes blankets for area kids in need, and these kids could be um, seriously ill. Maybe they've been through a trauma or just have a need, and we like to provide them with a nice, comforting, warm blanket. Because who doesn't love a warm blanket, especially for someone in need? So there are different styles that you can choose from for the Make a Blanket Day happening tomorrow, and of course, quilts, um, the you know necessary essentials, the equipment, it's all provided. Or if you have it, feel free to bring it, but you don't need skills. So we do have right now a fleece blanket that you're gonna show me the process to someone as a beginner and who has no skills behind them whatsoever. So what would you advise me to do and how can I help? Right, we have, we'd have a table of um, fleece. We'd ask you to go pick out something that appeals to you and um, we'd have you bring it over to the table here. And we have some special um, cutters and type things and we will help you prepare the blanket mm -hmm. so that you can um, do a no sew project here. And one of the things that we will do is we will use our um, hemostat and we've already pre-fringed this so that we can show you how to do this but you would okay. um, fringe the fleece here and then you're going to take your hemostat and we put some little holes in the top of the, the um, Oh I see, fleece. okay. Yep, and we're going to go under and we are going to grab a hold of that piece of fleece and we're going to pull it through. Look at that. Very simple. So it just ties a little knot on the end, kind of keeps it tight. You can loosen it up however you prefer. Right, right, exactly. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try here. Yep. Okay, so we're going through the little hole up front. Mm -hmm. and we wanna make sure that we get the side that's showing on the blanket. Oh. I think mine, mine yep. are stuck here. Oh, yep, there, we, there go. we go. There are safety. <laughs> yep, these are hemostats <laughs> yeah. um, used in the medical community, but they also have other uses. So, um, All right. yep, they do kind of stick together a little Keeping bit. Keeping me safe at the same time. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. So then you just pull through and then mm -hmm. that one is done. Right. I then, did it. Then when you're done around the whole blanket, it looks um, very nice and finished. Yeah, and we, can, we can show this a little bit here. Maybe flip it down. Yep. That way, this is the underside, so you can see all the ties there, and then the fringes just hang below. They do, and it makes a, a real nice blanket without having to ever touch a sewing machine. Perfect. That sounds not too bad for me with no skills whatsoever, but we'll talk a little bit more about other options that you have for Make a Blanket Day that's happening tomorrow. But for now, Good Morning Heartland will continue right after this. And a welcome back. The North Central Missouri Chapter for Project Linus is inviting the public to the 16th annual Make a Blanket Day. The event is taking place this Saturday. Samantha Croy has a preview for us. Hey, Samantha. Thanks, Ella, if you're just joining us. I'm at the Quilted Square in Kirksville, and we are talking about Make a Blanket Day happening tomorrow. As you can see, there's Project Linus, and I'm here with Chapter Coordinator Connie Duvier. How are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. We have a lot of helpers and volunteers here with yes. us, and they are putting together some wonderful blankets that are going to go to children who need them, whether they're ill or they're in a circumstance where they just need a little hug. Right. Exactly. And so, you know, we went through earlier a beginner blanket and walked through the steps. It's not hard, so don't use that as an excuse not to come out tomorrow. But we do have some other options here as well, and they kind of work their way up to a little bit more of an advanced level. Right. Um, like we said, the beginners can easily do the fleece, but then we have uh, this option over here, which Cindy's demonstrating. It's just, just tying a blanket sandwich, mm -hmm. and that just about any age level can do, and if you can tie a square knot, you can easily run a, um, a needle and thread through the quilt top, and we'll tie those into knots. Mm -hmm. Very simple, very easy. And then Donna here is, um, again, working with a piece of fleece that we've put holes in, and she is crocheting around the edge. So if you have some basic crochet skills, you would easily be able to complete one of these blankets uh, in the time allotted during our day. And again, we have the yarn and we have the um, fleece and we do have a limited number of crochet hooks, but if you have a favorite one that you like to work with, bring that with you. 
Absolutely, yeah. So like you said, you offer the material, but it's always nice to bring your own if you're more familiar with it. Sure. I and mean, there are um, kits here that you guys have. Right, and we are primarily a sewing event, and we do have pre-cut kits that we have available. We'll have a big table, mm -hmm. so when you come in, bring your sewing machine. We don't provide those, but we provide just about everything else you would need to complete a blanket. And everything in here is pre-cut, so you can just sit down and start sewing. And um, we will have the batting and the backing and thread and probably just about anything else you can think of to complete a blanket. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining me. The event will be taking place tomorrow from 10 to 4 at the El Kadir Shrine Club. So come on out and join us as we make blankets. And I do want to say thank you to all of you from someone who does have a Project Linus blanket. It really it does make a difference. Thank you. Yes. So for now, Ella, we'll go ahead and send it back to you.